Man. I can't believe I Zabel had ruined my birthday three months ago and I feel so angry about it. I can't believe she said unhappy birthday to me and she flipped off the birthday cake. You know what? It's time for her to owe me an apology right now. I Zabel, what are you doing here? Hi Izzy. I am here to apologize in advance for all the things I did. I can be evil at times, but that doesn't change the fact how I caused trouble just for fun along with the teenagers next door and had the bright good side of me as well. After the horrible stuff I did along with Early, Orion, Ethan and Andrew, I am so distraught and ashamed for everything I did. I wanted to cause trouble along with my four friends, but then I have decided to change for the better. I have watched a world crumble before, and I will never let it happen ever again. Izzy. What I did to you and the adults next door was wrong, and I will never cause trouble anymore. I have no words to say, but, I'm so sorry. Oh I Zabel. I accept your apology, 1000%. I'm sorry too, and I'm also sorry that you had to go through along with your four friends. It's not your fault Izzy. I just wanted to make you happy that I wanted to do this, but I bought you a beautiful birthday cake at the bakery and made you a powerful card. No way. You got me a new birthday cake and you wrote me a card? That is so cool. I know right. Friends really do mess up all the time. Evens for frenemies like me. Hey Izabel, can I read your card that you wrote? Go for it Izzy. I wrote it with my pure imagination. I Zabel, you just wrote the best card, and I am so proud of you for doing something heroic like this. Also, you should have loved the adults next door in the first place. Thank you Izzy. You are the best friend and best friend of me I could have ever had. I am going to show this to my family. That's one down for the good guys. But now there is another thing that I need to do, and that is to betray Andrew, Ethan, Orion and Early. Because I heard they kidnapped me and manipulated me to join in the teenagers next door and to cause a lot of trouble for fun. Well guys, we finally did it. We have just robbed another in City Bank and exploded it as well. We're having a blast huge time. For now, let's all do what must be done for all of the history. Oh yeah. Well think again. Isabel, are you going to cause trouble with us? No. Never. Absolutely not. I am never going to cause trouble for fun anymore. I'm never going to become like you guys, including you, the one with the green jacket and shirt and the black shorts. The adults next door told all four of you as well as the new girl in town, who was recently changed from her previous name to my name and kidnapped me back in 2021. What? Isabel, how could you betray us for no reason? I thought we were good friends, and this is how you treat all four of us. We have to agree on what Orion said. You can't leave the teenagers next door like that. We were supposed to cause trouble, and now this. This is just despicable. Yeah. My name is Isabel Ivy Iron, not Penelope Penny Pelvis. Isabel, I am so going to get you for this, and you will regret it for life. Shut up new girl, Orion, Andrew and Ethan. All five of you teenagers are nothing but entitled Karens that are making everyone's lives a living hell with your constant causing trouble just for fun as an excuse like that. Early, Ethan and Andrew, I have been doing some thinking lately, and I honestly regret on being friends with the showbiz people like all three of you. You guys have made me manipulative, assertive, rude, trashy, aggressive and many other bad adjectives. And so, because of this, I have no choice but to cut ties with all four of you, and the same applies to you Penelope, I will not be a part of that teenagers next door anymore, and the adults next door and I will put all of you onto a permanent restraining order and make a grounded series out of all five of you. And by the way new girl, your name is not Isabel Ivy Iron, your name is Penelope Penny Pelvis. If you want to cut ties with us, then we will do something to you. How are that you can- Wait a second. I Zabel, how did you know that was my name? My friends and all of the great users, as well as the adults next door told me everything about that name. See for yourselves.
All four of you will be really furious about this name. What the? I don't believe that. Is this true? Yes, it is Andrew, Ethan, Orion and Early. My real name is Penelope Penny Pelvis, and I am the one who kidnapped Ive Zable Ivy Iron and made her manipulative the most unlike all four of you. I am so sorry for everything I did. Please don't kick me out of the teenagers next door. So, are you happy now, Ives Apple and the teenagers next door? Are you freaking serious right now? Why would you ever kidnap and manipulate an innocent girl just because she's trying to mind her own business? All this time we caused trouble just for fun, but then we found out that you were the one who also manipulated all four of us. Just like Isabel who is leaving our group. I can't believe we have an entitled delinquent by our side. Penelope, you son of a gun. How dare you kidnap a girl and then manipulate all four of us because she is minding her own business. You know that we teenagers next door can be very evil sometimes, but that doesn't change the fact that you do something as sick like this. Just like Isabel who is leaving us behind, we are also done with your scruffy fuckery. We don't get a problem with Isabel leaving our gang, because you also are getting no friends anymore because of your behavior. This is really indescribable on how much you cause trouble to the adults next door, because Isabel is almost becoming an adult, and she is redeeming herself and improving her behavior. You know what Penelope? We are done, forever. But guys, it's not my fault. You guys have put me through so much hell. Shut the hell up right now you manipulated bastard. We like to cause trouble just for fun, and now you put us teenagers next door and Isabel in serious jeopardy. And just for all of this, we are going to call your parents right now. We are so catching ties with you. Get out of our sights and get out of our disgusting lives right now before we contact the adults next door and the police on you. You heard what Andrew said. And because of this Penelope, as of today, I'm done with you being a manipulative scumbag who tried to hurt the adults next door and my ex-friends. I am also cutting ties with you forever. Good riddance and have fun being grounded for life, you entitled bastard. And stop stealing my lines right now when I cry like a motor car. Man. We can't believe we had a manipulative girl who was evil this whole time. We know right Isabel. Also, we heard that you wrote Izzy a powerful birthday card and bought her a new birthday cake, and we are really proud of you. We haven't seen you redeem yourself and improve your behavior. We're also thrilled to see you grow up. In the future, we all will try our best to redeem ourselves and improve our behaviors, even though you and we teenagers next door can be evil sometimes. We'll tell the adults next door that we can be great frenemies and an anti heroes because you're the first woman to become an anti hero like this. Go home right now and shine on. And nice outfit that you put on for the adults next door, Isabel. We really like your outfit, and that is the most heroic thing that you can do. And we would like to wish you the best luck as an adult and have the most successful in your life. Everyone will be really proud of you if you do a lot of heroic stuff, even for fun as well. Now go home and celebrate. We will miss you forever. Bye guys. Thanks for all the best memories ever. I will miss all four of you forever. Since Isabel has left our gang for good, we should cause more trouble without her. You sick monster. Penelope, what is the matter with you right now? How dare you manipulate the four teenagers next door and kidnap one girl with the orange hair who went by the name of Isabel Ivy Iron while she was minding her own business. You know that Isabel is now going to become an adult very soon, and you can't treat her like she is your manipulative slave like this. She has dealt a lot of groundings, and she cannot take it anymore. Not to mention that she is also improving her behavior and redeeming herself, and she is also going to be a part of the adults next door very soon as the sixth member. And plus, the adults and the teenagers next doors really despise you with the flaming passion right now because you put many lives out of us and to them for what you did to everyone. That is so it young lady. You are grounded for the rest of your life. Go to your room right now, and think about what you just did to Isabel right now. And if you don't stop crying like a motor car, 
We will have the adults next door to turn you into one and have you been driven away by Maria Lopez. Isabel, we can't believe you made the most heroic things you did. First, you made the most amazing birthday card and you bought her a birthday cake, then you left the teenagers next door for good, and then you changed your ways by improving your behavior and redeeming yourself. You have changed a lot Isabel, and we are really proud of you. You are now becoming a sixth member of the adults next door because you are now a true adult. And because you did such an act of kindness to Izzy and that you did a lot of heroic stuff even for fun, you are now ungrounded for the rest of your life. Go do whatever you want because we all knew that you are entitled to your actions. Sweet victory for me and for my adult life. And Drew and the teenagers next door, I am so going to make a grounded video out of all of you. I am so glad that Isabel is growing up mom and dad. Me too. Me three. She's now an adult. I agree with you guys. And Isabel, if your long lost sister Isabel finds out that you are here, she will reunite with you and with us too. Thanks mom and dad, you guys are the best.